Hello cookers, welcome back to our channel. Oh my god, I miss you guys. I know it's been a lot going on in our channel. We traveled to Austin, we got guests cooking with us. You all guys have to watch our video. The link is down below. Felicia, don't forget to mention the link. So, and today we are going to make fried kway teow. The stir fried rice noodle is very popular food in Indonesia and it's loved by people of all ages. So let's get started and cook up some delicious kway teow. Oh, but don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and or if you want us to cook some recipe of your favorite, give us a comment down here. Let's get started. Before we dive into the cooking process, let's quickly go over the ingredients you all gonna need. The main ingredient is rice noodles. Kwetiao is a rice noodle in Indonesian, Malaysian, Singapore, uh, Thai, Cambodia, uh, Philippine. We call this flat rice noodle kwetiao. In Vietnam, it's a bit different. They call it ban pho. So the dish today we're going to make is fried kwetiao, which is kwetiao goreng in Indonesia. It's very similar to pad si u in Thai food. Rice noodle, we are uh, using about 800 grams. Um, and then we have the eggs. We're, we're needing four eggs. I love eggs. But this is up to, up to your liking. You can use two or none. Next ingredient is vegetables. So kwetiao goreng is similar. If you watch our fried rice, it's very similar. We are using any vegetables that we have in our fridge. Today, I have this bean sprout. Uh, bean sprout like this, it's very fresh. You find it in Asian grocery or whole food and sprout have them as well. This one is uh, in Indonesia, we call it chai sim. The texture is like um, kale, but a little bit softer. And in uh, Chinese Thai, oh, they call it choy sum. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> and then next, I'm using the bakso, which is Indonesian meatballs. I made this um, in the, our previous video. You can check uh, the, the video in the link below. And we're going to need chili. And then uh, the Thai chili. I'm using four Thai chili because I love spicy but it's up to you. And then um, shallot, we're using two shallot and three garlic cloves. And dry ingredient, only need two, which is uh, chicken bouillon or beef bouillon is fine. And then garlic salt. And we're going to need around quarter cup of vegetable oil or any cooking oil up to your liking. And uh, the sauce, this is what makes it different, guys, between uh, all flat rice noodle in any other country in Asia. Uh, the difference is this, the sweet soy sauce. Um, you can find it in Asian grocery or I think Sprout have it too now. And uh, another sauce we're going to use is the oyster sauce like this. This is easily available in even Walmart. So. Let's get started. First step is we are going to chop our um, this ingredient, chili, shallot, and garlic. Chili is um, your based on your spice tolerance. And here, me and my team, we are obsessed with spicy. Grind the shallot as well, and the garlic. We are done chopping our um, chili and garlic. This is the texture we're looking at. Doesn't have to be very, very uh, well grind. I love to make every uh, recipe with a fresh ingredient like this. 
but if this is if you want to make it very very easy and simple i have another trick you can use this sambal ulak you can buy it easily in walmart very cheap and in every walmart throughout the us is available or you can make this sambal based on our recipe uh, we made a few weeks ago the link will be here felicia <laughs> and then um yes you can follow making the sambal recipe and you can use sambal bawang recipe for this and uh, yeah so let's get going next we are preparing our vegetable uh the chasim we have to chop it For the protein, I use the meatballs and eggs. You can use any protein you have. I love these meatballs. I made it myself. You can follow the recipe in our channel for making these um, meatballs. Make them, guys. And you can freeze them and they stay for a long time. Okay, you're on. <laughs> okay. So, this is, um, this is the exciting part. The step two. Starting the cooking. First is turning the heat, of course, it's high heat. And then we add the cooking oil. Let's add more ingredients, the meatballs, and we add the vegetables so that uh, chasing, there are the hard part, the edge of it, so I'm going to still fry that part first, and the leaves. <coughs> The green leaves is going to be stir fried <coughs> later on. When the vegetable half cook like this, we're going to make a well. We add the eggs. All right, guys, they are almost done now it's time to mix all the uh, rice noodles together let's put this thing mix with everything i'm making a portion for four or five portion uh, because I have my crew here with me and but the recipe that I will be writing in the description is for two person so if you want to cook more for your family just adding it up okay okay we mix them a little bit oh right it's time to add the sauce this is the sweet soy sauce all right and then the oyster sauce we don't need a lot of oyster sauce just about two tablespoons And then we add the garlic 
salt and chicken bouillon. If you notice, I put the um, when I pour the uh, sweet soy sauce, I put them on the side of the wok. Why? Because when you put on the side of the wok, it's caramelized. The sweet soy sauce, the sugar in it, it's caramelized. It gives the char kind of burn a little bit feeling and flavor to the noodles. Now it's time to mix our fidget, uh, the rest of the vegetables. We are almost done. Look at these noodles. So, okay, a little trick, guys. This rice noodles is very easy to pull apart, to very, very easy to kind of break. So, don't mix them too much. Let's try this, babies. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Oh my god, it's still on my white dress. Let me try again. One more. Mmm. 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 This is remind me of home. Oh my god, so good. We are done with our fried kway teow. Look at our food. Look. So I like to eat it with um fried shallot or fried garlic. Um just gonna add it here like this um if you don't like it you don't have to but i am obsessed with fried garlic or oh, fried onion sorry and then here is chili oil crispy garlic chili oil felicia made it for me i want her to cook for us maybe next video felicia <laughs> so yes i love to eat this with it as well like this to add this extra spiciness so let's try it hmm. 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 it's so good guys and very very easy so you should try it at home share your video uh, share the recipe and like and subscribe our channel and continue support us guys by subscribing and sharing our video so we can continue making our video and share our recipe for you so see you in our next video